Niggas say like, like what a love at Yeah, you showing love but they don't show it back Yeah, they ain't with you, that why they act like that Yeah, smile in your face but talk behind your back But you gotta understand that everybody ain't real And most of them be fake They only gon' come around just to eat off your plate And all I speak is facts and only real gon' relate Most these niggas gon' change and all of that shit be fake I know what a love at Love at when I was her name give me nothing I've been hustling, hustling. I made something out of nothing. Look what I accomplished. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Ken870. And Mama 870. And we back with another video, man. Say look, if you're new here, make sure you like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell button up there because I am dropping videos every single day this week. Tonight is a double upload tonight, bruh. So y'all really been showing us love, so tonight gonna be a double upload. This is another video that y'all been requesting from us, bruh. So we finna get screen too. I ain't gonna do that much talking. I ain't throwing my mate 7 up. That's right, let's get it. And let's go. So we finna see what the boom that talking about, man. So let's get it. Oh, uh, she already just said let's get it, but we finna start right now though. 12 it was a third house to get robbed in Woodcrest in less than a week. The police were talking to everyone on our we street for clues. That area over there, uh, running. Well, almost, the almost everyone. Did they gallop still? Or he had a gallopy gait to him. This the officer. I'm not finished. Hello, sir. I'm Officer Callaway. I'm here to. Uh, I didn't see nothing. Okay. I don't know nothing. Right. Cheers. Uh, uh, so too loud, man. What about to us? But his unwillingness to talk with the police is a common trait with black people. It's no secret that black people are culturally inclined against snitching. Hey, I ain't seen nothing. Hell no! <laughs> Man, fuck your mom. But recently, what was once an unwritten rule about snitching stop has become snitching, a full stop, stop snitching movement, complete with merchandising. Take the murder of 19-year-old Jermaine Lojack Walker, who was shot during a street basketball tournament in the middle of a summer afternoon in front of at least 300 eyewitnesses. Nobody uh, he did on the ground. ground. He put they it on there. just went home. But despite the cultural stigma against it, a whopping one in twelve black men in poor neighborhoods is an active informant. You damn right, Mr. Police Man. I saw the whole thing. <laughs> that means every part. How is that one person? <laughs> every cookout. Every wedding. Probably has someone secretly working as an informant. Where I live. Snitching is more like a recreational hobby. Oh, they even have here we go again with Uncle Rookie. It's called the neighborhood. Look at them shorts you got on. <laughs> no snitching. Hold it right there, <laughs> boy. Woodcraft neighborhood watch. Now, where was you at 11 o'clock last night, huh? Huh? Come on now. Don't lie to me. Nigga, nigga. I was in bed. No, you wasn't. I seen you with my own eyes. You were robbing white people's houses, wasn't you? And oh, look at them wheels. The law say when the bicycle stop, the wheels supposed to stop. You need a special payment for wheels like that. Oh, come back here! I'm calling the police! Stop! Yeah. Okay. Well, How long will we wait on the police to protect us? Can we bring in the army? This is a tragedy. The white man ain't never done nothing to nobody, and he don't deserve this. Wait, everyone, please! Where are we going now? This is our fault! We didn't let the predators think we're we. At the Department of Homeland Security. It's all beat up. Oh, terrorism. It was them Freeman boys. <laughs> I'm telling you, you can't trust them no nigga. Yeah, I said it. Now, Ruckus, that's crazy. If they're so innocent, why won't they talk to the police? <gasps> what did he say? Yeah, why? Why would they? Doesn't sound like innocent behavior to me. Y'all coming down below. What's the background story of this episode right here? I know y'all know. We're going to go check them out. If the cops won't make them talk, I'll make them talk. Mrs. Von Hausen, the Neighborhood Watch is not a law enforcement agency. No interrogations. Now, if you visit the Freemans and ask them to join the Neighborhood Watch, that would be great. And let's all of us reach out to all our other neighbors to help us keep an eye out. Okay? Well, that's right. right. Really? Well, we're going to reach out. Right. Oh, they can do something. She looks sneaky. Thank <laughs> you. What the hell do y'all want? Well, ask the questions around here, Robert. Ask the question, Miss Von Houten. I don't have time for this crap. Get out to a old white woman. Mr. Freeman, we are from the Woodcrest Neighborhood Watch. Mm. Now, as you know, we've had some home invasions. Man, look at them shorts. Uncle Rick has got a lot of them. 
refused to talk to the police. I didn't see nothing. You tell him, Granddad. No snitch. You've also <laughs> refused our previous invitations to join the neighborhood watch. Uh -huh. so we could use your support. Our motto is neighbors watching neighbors. Oh, I'm watching all right. I'm watching this neighborhood become a bunch of damn cottontails. <laughs> Good one, Granddad. You killing him. Uh, Property was stolen, Mr. Freeman. Stolen. The sanctity of our community I, was violated. Yeah, I, I ain't got time for this bullshit. Boy, I'll be back tonight. Move the hell out of my uh, robber. Did you just touch a white woman? <laughs> Sorry to touch you, Miss Van Houten. We'll make sure you get sterilized. Dorothy. Right? <laughs> well, well, you almost touched Miss Van Houten. Stop snitching. <laughs> Hey, boy. Go to bed, too. Good night, Granddad. Now look at them. They're about to steal something. Right now. Nah, baby, I'm still here. That's like Charlie um, Murphy. Come down below and tell me that Charlie Murphy or not. Watch what's that. It sounds just Come like. On. Word down to Jim that he done wore the same pair of drawers for the last three days. Then he go and lift weights. Why'd you say, why'd you say, Miss Mount Howdy? Shit, he, he just hate me. See, I ain't even tell Janet anything about what you told me. Would you get off that fucking phone? <laughs> oh, I'm busting like that. Get him, nigga! Come on, now. Fuck now. <laughs> we need to go, go to the house to do a short song. Hey, Riley, listen, man. I need some really hot niggas to shoot, man. What? Niggas to shoot? Hey, this the car that got pimped out by the city. Say, motherfucker, you on the phone? You talking to me? I'm talking to Riley. That sound like hey, Samuel Jackson. I think it is. Too. This thing has a push button starter like a race car. So you wouldn't even need a key. I know y'all niggas not mm. trying to jack Dorothy. Whoa, whoa. Mm. What y'all do? Oh, we just gonna borrow the car for a little while. Don't worry about it. You know, we, we bring it right back. We bring it right back, bro. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hold up. Y'all uh -oh. can't take my granddad's car. Y'all think he gonna snitch? What y'all think? Take the car. Y'all think Riley gonna snitch? Whoa, this is nice. Uh-oh. Riley got snitched? Not Riley. Snitch y'all. Tell me who stole my car. Nobody steal my car. I paid for my car. So what would my niggas think of me if I snitch? Wait a minute. What niggas? Hey, I got niggas. Where? In the street. <laughs> the street. I ain't answering no more. Come here. Mm-mm. I can't do it, granddad. I can't talk to the Popo. Tell granddad. He's not the police. That's right. You can tell me. You promise not to tell? I promise. Look. I swear on your life. Don't do it, bro. You lying. That's messed up, granddad. Tell me, boy. Tell me who stole my car. How let him get my butter beans? Give me a little more time. I get out of them. The officers have orders to take you both in for questioning. I'm sorry. Both of us? I'm afraid so. Don't snitch, granddad. They don't know nothing unless you tell them. Mm. Despite the hip hop community being the driving force behind the stop snitching movement, rappers tend to snitch on themselves a lot. In 2000, rapper Gangsta Licious reportedly assaulted record executive Johnny Guinness with a We're doing this episode is next. Gangsta Licious, we're doing him next. I got y'all. Guinness refused to cooperate with authority. But the next day, Gangsta Delicious made an appearance on MTV's TRF. Hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, drop the beat, drop the beat. Uh, Gangsta Delicious, mine's too vicious. EM, she's all day, mmm, delicious. My whole crew up in this, no doubt we gonna win this. Smack up your moms like I smack Johnny Guinness. Three o'clock yesterday, I don't care nah, what they bro, say. Nah, bro, that ain't it. Hit him with the Hennessy. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. He was ready to go to jail after that. Back at the neighborhood watch, Tom was facing an all-out revolt. Please be home. Riley Freeman will talk. I assure you. I say it's time we officially militarized the neighborhood watch. Yes, no, everyone <laughs> calm down. I promise you, Riley will talk soon. Do you even have a permit for that gun? Maybe no. I don't. Come and pry it from my cold, dead hands. Faggot boy. Beat her ass. Police knew Granddad was around the house. <laughs> what they didn't know was a key like Riley was withholding information. Oh, yeah, I know this came from. Hey, y'all already know it. Men to the side. I can tell. Now you listen here, you little bitch. I'm gonna ask you some real simple questions. Dude. I want some real simple answers. You know what I mean to say, too? You know who's in that room? Kane's in that room? Man, she don't know nothing, bro. Hey, y'all, y'all, y'all know what I'm talking you about, bro. You went to the garage, you went into the house at 9 15. Yes, I believe. Look, 9 15. mistaken. It was 9 15. So you pulled into the garage and went into the house at 9 15. Yeah. Nine, yes. I looked at my watch and, and yes, mm-hmm, mm -hmm, nine fifteen. So you're telling me definitely that you pulled into the garage and went into the house at eight fifteen. Yes, that's. I look, look, uh, uh, you, know. <laughs> you see something? You know you don't fucked up, right? No. <laughs> you? Yep. I said no. Bro, I said I pulled into the garage and. <laughs> Bro, yeah, you know you don't fucked up, right? No. Yeah. I said, wait a minute. I told you I put it to But without Riley talking, the cops had nothing. And Riley wasn't talking. I know y'all seen niggas with spinning rims, right? But check it, check it, check it. I'm saying on the bike, though. And then, like, when I pop a wheelie, you know what I mean? And that front wheel be up off the ground and keep spinning. Woohoo, boy. Man, nigga. Somebody get me out of here. <laughs> they just mad because I'm not. Before I shoot this fucking kid. <laughs> he done changed the whole story, right? One did. problem black he people have with snitching is that the police don't necessarily protect those to come forward. Take the case of Bernard Jefferson, who helped the police shut down a local crack house. Hey, you did the right thing. So, um, do you think I might need some protection or something? Yeah, that's more the feds thing. Uh, you'll be fine. You see anything weird, you just give us a call, watch. right, buddy? Boom, watch. Okay. Hey, Bernard! You snitch-ass oh. motherfucker! <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Bernard mm -hmm. lived, but when he refused to identify the man who shot him, he was charged with conspiracy and sentenced mm -hmm. to a month in jail. I can't believe this little young kid like this damn man. Boy, get up there and go to your room. I'm gonna take me a nap, gonna drink me a Red Bull, then I'm gonna wake up and beat you till you decide to talk. I did everything <laughs> I could, but if Riley doesn't talk, they're both gonna be charged tomorrow. What the hell is wrong with you? This ain't a movie, Riley. You and Granddad about to go to jail. I can't snitch. This person stole from your family. I tried to stop him. Yeah. Hey. Look at her. Wrong person, y'all. Right. May I sit down over there next to Riley? Look. What are you guys talking about? Are you talking about who's doing the break-ins? If you know, you can tell me. I won't tell anybody. Jasmine, are you wearing a wire? Go blue! Go blue! See? What the hell is this? A snitchathon? <laughs> Man, there's snitches everywhere. They under the bed, too. How about the closet? Mm. Hey there, boys. <laughs> Ooh, this is uncomfortable. He showed Shane his clothes, Fags. He was just in the See, um, living room. Techno set. I fucks with the future. Yeah, the problem is we don't live in the future. Yeah, and they still in that car, bro. That person not their car, bro. No, they still it's not riding around. Ear. It's a fucking cell phone headset. The only thing you're gonna do with it is call a bitch. And unless the bitch is a Martian, there ain't no explanation for the shit to look that damn high tech. Have you seen that shit in the mirror? You look like you're going to a fucking comic book convention. This the house? Yeah, man, this the house. They don't sign Simeon's just I don't know who that is. Call. Yeah. What's good, baby? Yeah. Ain't that one of your grandfather's alarm systems? Nah, nigga, you show sure? it says once less security. No, 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 no. I ain't see no naked pictures, girl. Send them to my sidekick. Damn it, get off that fucking phone. I think we in the. Mm. Who, who's there? Huh? <laughs> uh oh. Wrong house. Yeah, yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> Tell me about that phone. I don't 
don't get it. You guys got elephant dollars. Why you dumbass robbing people? Because I'm an American. Shit. It's the American way, man. Shit. What the fuck was you raised in? Third world country? See, as I broke it down, it is. So that's supposed to be white. Yeah, people don't that's have them and there won't be no demand. So we out here creating the demand. You know what I'm saying? We Turns out shit. Ed and Rummy were breaking into homes as a way to stimulate sales you know, for once the security service, which was owned by Ed's grandfather. Security, but, you know. The irony is, Granddad had already signed up for once the security. And to add insult to injury, it didn't even work. Yeah, well, now y'all get it right next time. You know the cost of bullets are going up. Sure, you're right. <laughs> hey, I bet police finna be out there. Watch the how I got that dog. You all right with me? Anyway, Granddad got his car back, and that was that. Oh, come on. <laughs> it was a misunderstanding. Hey, hey, give your Granddad my best. <laughs> Negro, it couldn't be them. <laughs> no charges were fired. What? So they ain't get no charge. I'm not talking to you. Lease a garage, baby. Fix. My bike. Someone stole my bike. Yo, Riley. <laughs> Spin it, baby. Hmm. I'm crying about that bike. Good. Where's your bike? <laughs> <laughs> I hope you got some insurance on those spinners. <laughs> Whee! Thank you for not snitching. You Thank you for not snitching. <laughs> <laughs> Say, look, if you like that video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell button out there because I am dropping videos every single day this week, man. So how you feel about the video, mom? It was a crazy video. Crazy video. Yep. And I want y'all to comment down below and tell me what's the definition for a reaction to a video. Because y'all be trolling me. Y'all never troll her sometimes, but y'all be trolling me back. And comment down below some more videos too. And get your boy to 3,000 subscribers, bro. I think I'm like 600 away. So I need to 3,000 subscribers, bro. But look, though, it's your boy King 870 And Mama 870 And we see y'all next time, man. Game. I've been running around the sun, 24, 7, 9, 11 Niggas ain't gonna talk and yes, they gonna bless him Sinners as a